Hello and welcome to our full ship tour of MSC Virtuosa. We're going to start our tour on Deck 5, which is the deck you'll embark on, right into MSC Virtuosa's stunning Infinity Atrium, which spans decks 5 to 7. At the centre of the Infinity Atrium, you'll find guest services, which is the place to go for any complaint or query you may have if you're staying in Fantastica, Bella or Aurea accommodation. On the starboard side of the Infinity Atrium on Deck 4 you have the Infinity Bar, which is the perfect place to sip a champagne cocktail and take in the entertainment taking place in the heart of the ship. Moving aft along deck you'll come across the Blue Danube, which is one of the four main dining rooms for those in Fantastica and Bella accommodation. Main dining rooms in the Blue Danube are open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and serve a variety of cuisine from across the globe, including the expected Italian classics such as pasta. At the very forward end of Deck 5 and spanning Deck 6 as well, you have Le Grand Theatre, which is the main entertainment venue on board. You can expect a range of West End style shows, as well as other performances including comedians, tribute acts and magicians. Welcome to Galleria Virtuosa, the life and soul of this magnificent ship. The deck head features the largest LED video screen at sea and it changes throughout the day, giving this space an ever-changing atmosphere and vibe. Galleria Virtuosa is an internal promenade with a whopping surface area of 14,000 square feet and features bars, restaurants and lots of shops. Virtuosa Bar and Lounge is a casual bar which can be found at the forward end of Deck 6. This is one of the many late night venues on board and you can expect music to play well into the small hours of the morning. Galleria Virtuosa features a huge variety of boutique shops along the promenade from fine jewellers selling Amiga watches to a souvenir store selling all sorts of MSC Virtuosa items for you to take home. You'll also find a perfumery, fashion stores and a shop to buy duty free alcohol and tobacco. As shopping experiences go on a cruise ship we have never been on a ship with so much variety, and the prices weren't bad either. If you're a chocoholic, you can fulfil your cravings at Jean Philippe Chocolate and Café. This extra charge venue serves incredible hot drinks such as their Belgium hot chocolate, and you can choose to have one of their many flavours of macaroons to accompany it. You can also purchase a wide range of different Jean Philippe chocolates to eat on board or take back to loved ones at home. Virtually opposite, you also have Jean Philippe Crepes and Gelato, serving freshly made crepes with a huge choice of toppings and their classic Italian gelato. This venue is an additional charge and is therefore not included as part of your cruise fare. If you love Mexican food, you must try Ola Tacos and Cantina, which is open for both lunch and dinner. This is a specialty restaurant where you can pay for each dish you order, or you can eat as much as you like for £16.99. The atmosphere in this dining venue is great and the service was always really friendly. Food quality and presentation was also really quite good and we both felt that we got what we paid for. Watch out though, the ice margaritas are lethal. Staying on deck 6 you'll also find Indochine which is a contemporary Vietnamese French inspired speciality restaurant. This is one of the best Asian restaurants we have eaten at on a cruise ship and it really did feel premium both in terms of surroundings and the quality of the cuisine you are served, but you certainly pay for it. Dishes include vegetable spring rolls, calamari and other Asian dishes for you to try. Next door you also have La Atelier Bar and Art. This warm elegant bar features a carefully selected wine list and signature cocktails, accompanied by live jazz music and a pop-up art gallery. With its convivial atmosphere, this is a great place to go before heading into Indochine for dinner. The MSC Starship Club is one of the must-see features on the entire ship. Simply select your cocktail by using the touch screens and watch Rob the bartender make your cocktail. This isn't cheap though. Rob will make mocktails for £10 and cocktails for £18, and unsurprisingly, these are not included as part of any of the drink packages offered by MSC. Also located alongside the Infinity Atrium on Deck 6 is the Photoshop and Photo Gallery, where you can grab much needed camera essentials and purchase photos taken by the ship's professional photographers. 
Taking up almost one third of the deck space at the aft end of deck 6, you have three extra main dining rooms for those in Fantastica and Bella accommodation. This includes Symphony, Opera and Minuetto, all of which serve identical menus for breakfast, lunch and dinner. At the aft end of deck 7 you have the Carousel Lounge, which is the venue that performs extra charge shows including Archimere. These shows cost around £10 per ticket before the cruise, or £15 per ticket if booked on board. You must not miss these shows, all we're going to say is that they are incredible. Welcome to the Red Gem Casino, featuring a wide range of the most modern gaming machines and gaming tables. This is also one of the few places on board where you are allowed to smoke. This is the Champagne Bar, the perfect place if you appreciate a good glass of bubbly and you enjoy seafood. You can purchase a range of different seafood at the Champagne Bar to accompany your champagne, including caviar charged at £46 for 30 grams, or scallops where prices go up to £32 for a dozen. The seafood perfectly complements their impressive bar menu of different champagnes and wines from around the world. If you're staying in Oreo accommodation, you will dine in the Il Campo dining room located on deck 7 next to the Champagne Bar. The menu here will be the same as the menus offered in the other dining rooms, but you can expect service and standards of food to be slightly elevated. Next up is the TV studio and bar, the perfect place to come and get involved in quizzes and game show style games throughout the day. This is the Master of the Seas, the British style pub on board MSC Virtuosa. This is the perfect place to sample those British owls and different brands of gin from all over the UK. They also serve food here from time to time including burgers for a small extra charge. Also on deck 7 you'll discover Kaito Sushi and Tapanyaki. Kaito Sushi is located outside on the veranda overlooking the stunning Galleria Virtuosa. Kaito Sushi is an upcharge restaurant where you can pay for items individually or as part of a dining package. You can choose dishes including the miso soup, salmon and avocado rolls and the green tea ice cream to finish. Kaito Teppanyaki is a bit more pricey but you are paying for the experience to watch the talented chefs cook and prepare your food in front of you. Set prices vary between £12 for a child's menu to £59 which is the most expensive option but does include ingredients such as lobster. Be sure not to miss this culinary dining experience on board. Next door to Kaito is Butcher's Cut and as steakhouses go on a cruise ship it is very good indeed. You can choose to pay for dishes individually or as part of a package like other speciality restaurants on board. You can try dishes including the goat's cheese tart with blueberry compote, the grilled salmon and sweet corn risotto, the roast chicken and of course the sticky Caribbean rum cake and Belgian chocolate cookie dough. Butcher's Cut would be at the top of our list to try again the next time we sail with MSC. We have now arrived at the MSC Aurea Spa, located all the way forward on deck 7. The MSC Aurea Spa is the place where you can be pampered with revitalising massages and beauty treatments, as well as enjoy the sensational hydrotherapy pools, saunas and steam rooms. After your session in the thermal suite, you can also get a manicure and pedicure at the beauty salon, or why not get your hair done? You are on holiday, after all. As spas go on a cruise ship, it doesn't get much better than this in terms of the facilities on offer. Decks 8 through to 14 are all passenger cabins, therefore we're going to continue our tour on deck 15 in the solarium. Within the solarium you will find the tropical pool with hot tubs, the tropical bar, some more hot tubs at the sides on deck 16 and table games including table tennis and table football. Most solariums on cruise ships are genuinely adults only, but not on MSC Virtuoso I'm afraid. The solarium does get very busy and noisy during the day, especially if the weather outside is unsettled. In warmer weather, the retractable roof can be opened to let in that much needed fresh air. We're now at the Atmosphere Pool, the main pool area aboard MSC Virtuosa, featuring two swimming pools adjacent to one another, water fountains and comfortable sunbeds line the pool's edge. You'll need to be an early riser to grab one though. Overlooking the Atmosphere Pool area, you have the big screen, which plays films and sporting events throughout your cruise. The Atmosphere Pool Deck comprises three bars, Atmosphere Bar North which is for all of your beverage needs, Atmosphere Bar South which is the poolside grill aboard MSC Virtuosa and sitting adjacent you have the Atmosphere Ice Cream Bar, serving soft scoop ice cream throughout the day for a small extra charge. 
Welcome to the Marketplace Buffet, one of the largest buffets we have ever seen on a cruise ship. This venue is open for breakfast, lunch, dinner and late night snacks, which are available until the early hours. The variety of the food on offer here is extensive, ranging from the very best Italian cuisine as you would expect from an Italian cruise line like MSC, to international dishes from America to China. The Marketplace Buffet is totally free and you can help yourself to as much as you like, whenever you like. You'll also be glad to hear that there is an outside terrace for you to eat al fresco, giving you the opportunity to take in those sea views as you dine. At the very after deck 16 you'll find the Horizon Pool, a small pool area which provides stunning wake views as MSC Virtuosa steams ahead. You'll also find lots of seating nearby to kick off your shoes and read a good book in the sun. And believe it or not, just inside you'll find another bar, the Sports Bar, which is the perfect place to come and enjoy a pint of beer and watch the football or any other sport that is playing during your cruise. The Sports Bar sits alongside the Sportsplex, which lays on different exercise classes and games each day of your cruise. When it comes to things to do aboard MSE Virtuosa, the list just keeps on growing. On deck 16 you'll find an incredible F1 simulator, engineered by Red Bull Racing. This incredible simulator is charged at £12 per session and the sessions last for around 10 minutes. Close by you'll also discover two bowling alleys. Games are charged at £25 for a 30 minute session and £45 for an hour session. And you're expected to pay £2 for shoe rental too. We did warn you that MSC liked to charge you for things didn't we? At times it feels like you're having to pay for everything. Another chargeable activity is the Hologate Arena Virtual Reality. You can select your preferred VR experience from a large list of experiences, where prices start at £12 per session. The ship also has an interactive XD cinema, where prices are charged at £10 for adults and £8 for children. Unfortunately, this facility wasn't available during our cruise. If you like to stay active when on a cruise ship, the thoughtfully named MSC Gym is located midship on deck 16. The MSC Gym is pretty small for the size of the ship, but most surprisingly for MSC is that it's totally free. Yes, you can use the most modern cardio and strength training equipment for no extra charge. The MSC Gym also has stunning views which overlook the atmosphere pool area and the power walking track. The track is for walkers and runners alike and encircles the atmosphere pool area here on deck 16. Welcome to the Yacht Club. All Yacht Club areas require you to scan your cruise card to be given access as this area is strictly off limits to anybody not in Yacht Club. On deck 16 you'll find the concierge desk which is the reception desk for all those staying in Yacht Club accommodation. All the way forward you have the top sail lounge which is a cosy yet contemporary cocktail bar area which serves light bites throughout the day and provides captivating views out over the seas ahead thanks to these floor to ceiling windows which span 180 degrees from port to starboard. The Top Sail Lounge also plays host to the Yacht Club High Tea each afternoon. This is one of the very best inclusive afternoon teas we've experienced on a cruise ship. You can expect delicate finger sandwiches, delicious sweet treats and scones served with fresh clotted cream and strawberry jam. And this fine dining experience is matched with the impeccable service and a pianist whom will gently play here throughout your high tea sitting. Up one flight of crystal stairs you'll arrive at the MSC Yacht Club restaurant which is the main dining room for those staying in the Yacht Club. You can expect thoughtfully presented and delicious food for breakfast, lunch and dinner and you can expect impeccable service at all times. The floor to ceiling panoramic windows can also be found in this venue too, rising from the top sail lounge below, providing more of those captivating views, ones which we have never experienced from a main dining room on a cruise ship before. The dining room is simply stunning. This is the Sky Lounge, found on deck 18 near midship. The bar and lounge provides views looking ahead over the atmosphere pool area. The Sky Lounge serves a fine range of signature cocktails throughout the day and acts as a late night venue aboard MSC Virtuosa. At the aft end of deck 18 you'll find an extensive range of children's facilities, all of which are a part of the kids clubs aboard this ship. As kids clubs go on a cruise ship it is our observation that it offers the most extensive facilities that we've ever seen. At the very aft of deck 18 you'll find a quiet sun deck conveniently positioned next to the horizon bar and overlooking the horizon pool. This is Himalayan Bridge, 
Located on Deck 19, the Himalayan bridge offers an 80 meter skywalk along a suspension bridge more than 60 meters above sea level. A truly unique way to get some exercise and take in some more of those incredible views for good measure. This is the Savannah Water Park, one of the most intricate and exciting water parks at sea. With three twisting water slides, a range of pools, water features and other activities for all ages. Children can also grab soft ice cream and slush puppies from the small bar at the Savannah Water Park, which are included as part of the children's drink package. Please note, any person wishing to use the Himalayan Bridge or the Savannah Water Park will be required to sign waivers in order to use these facilities. This is the Top 19 exclusive solarium, only accessible for those in Aurea and Yacht Club accommodation. You'll find lots of comfortable seating in both the sun and the shade, friendly and efficient bar service at all time, and a generous U-shaped hot tub looking out of the decks below. If you like the idea of having some luxury on an MSC cruise, but Yacht Club is a bit out of your budget, do give Aurea genuine consideration. On deck 19 of the MSC Yacht Club aboard MSC Virtuosa, you'll find a sensational yacht club and sun deck and solarium. Featuring luxury sun loungers, cabanas and a small yet incredibly inviting swimming pool and hot tub. Imagine a solarium in the Caribbean, that's got to be as good as it gets, right? The solarium also plays host to the Yacht Club Grill Bar for you to stay fed and watered all day long. That was our full ship tour aboard MSC Virtuosa. This ship blew our mind in lots of ways, particularly when it comes to variety. Never have we been on a cruise ship with so much on offer when it comes to things to do and places to dine. But having said all that, we've never been on a cruise ship where you are expected to pay for so much either. At times, it does feel as though you're having to put your hands in your pocket for pretty much everything especially if you're in Bella or Fantastica accommodation. But it is worth mentioning that MSC cruise fares are usually priced below their competitors. If we could give you a tip, it would be only book an MSC cruise if you can afford to pay for all those extra activities, speciality dining venues and maybe upgrade to either Aurea or Yacht Club. The included MSC experiences with Bella and Fantastica are very basic fare types and it does mean you'll constantly be coming across parts of the ship which you can't access. MSC Virtuosa is a very busy and crowded ship, and take it from us, there will be times that you crave to have an exclusive, quiet area to relax and unwind, perks which only come with Aurea and Yacht Club, whether it be through the MSC Aurea Spa or private, exclusive solariums which you get with these two upgrade options. MSC Virtuosa offers an incredible cruising experience, but only if you're prepared to pay for it. If you've enjoyed this full ship tour of MSC Virtuosa and you would like to see more ships that we have covered, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified of any future cruise uploads. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.